Welcome everyone to This Week in PlayStation, your weekly look at all the stuff new on the PlayStation Network and the new trophy lists that have been revealed. I am back. I was not here last week for this video, but I was doing plenty of other stuff. I was doing a 24-hour marathon for the Nintendo Switch, which I have a bunch of reviews out for some of the Switch stuff. In fact, I, pretty much most of the games for the Switch. And then, of course, my very controversial this is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild video that's getting plenty of love and a ton of hate. But... That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the PlayStation, PS4, back to the PS4, after like one week of diversion with the Switch for now. Uh, but we're going to start off, of course, by looking at the PlayStation Network and every game, and talk about if I have anything to say for certain ones, uh, a few of which I have reviewed. Uh, and then we'll jump over to uh, PSN Profiles and look at all the new trophy lists. Um, not a whole lot of trailers this week. In fact, even missing last week, there really isn't a proverbial ton of uh, stuff to uh, look at. So, anyway, let's get going without further ado here. Um, okay, so here we go. Here's the PSN. These are all the games that have been uploaded in the last uh, seven days, stuff like that. Uh, East Origin, I don't know why this got like a, maybe it was like a early thing. I don't know. Sometimes with some of the PSN titles, um, they end up coming out and then like it's technically the early version or something like the uh, day one edition kind of thing and then like a few weeks later they were they put it still up as a new game even though it's been out for a couple weeks it just now isn't the day one version. Uh, I don't know if that's the case here with East Origin, but it's been out for a few weeks. I have obviously a full review for it on there. I really enjoy it. It's a 2006 uh, PC game that now got ported over to the PS4, the first of the series to make it to the PS4, uh, and it's coming in time for East 8 that will be coming out later on this year. Uh, also out this week is Unearthing Mars, the PlayStation VR game. Um, here you, go. you can read a little bit about it. Uh, I like how this gameplay is a story, it's a simulation, it's a driving simulation, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Uh, and it's an FPS all-in-one. Obviously, being a VR title, it's not something I'm going to be checking out myself. Um, but uh, $14.99, I, I don't know if anyone's messed with Unearthing Mars. I've been seeing a lot of trophy lists. It has a separate trophy list, I think, for every region uh, that it's coming out in. Uh, next up is Total Jigsaw. Uh, this is a game we watched the trailer for a while back. It is just that. It is a Jigsaw game. If you're a fan of Jigsaw puzzles and like to put them together, uh, here is the game for you. There is no Platinum or anything like that. Thankfully, $7 really isn't anything that's going to break your bank uh, by any means. But, uh, yeah, you can see it. Literally, you are putting together Jigsaw puzzles, so that's something that doesn't interest you at all. Obviously, you're going to want to stay away. Uh, one of the big titles, there was two kind of big releases this week. Um, and one of them is Ghost Recon Wildlands. I haven't checked it out at all. I know a lot of people checked out the beta. I heard that it was uh, it, it was a mixed bag. I've heard some people really lugging it, really digging it. Other people complaining about it. I heard the driving control takes either a lot to get used to or just isn't very good. Uh, the AI, like for the bots, like if you're playing with bots or anything like that as your partners instead of humans, uh, they are ridiculously stupid and cause a lot of issues. Um, it, it looks still like, it looks like a great game. I know it's also getting some controversy because of the country that's based and is not very happy with the way that they are portrayed. Uh, but either way, if you've checked out Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, let me know in the comments, is it worth checking out as it is right now? Is it worth $60? Uh, let me know. Uh, we also got another package for the Sun and Moon Three-Fourths Home Bundles. Like we've been talking about for weeks and weeks now, it feels like they just keep bundling these games <laughs> together to try to sell them. Uh, I mean, not a horrible price, uh, no plats uh, involved there, but I mean... And I've heard Three-Fourths Home is not a bad game, it's a very small narrative kind of game, so not really for everyone, that kind of thing, but still, they really want to bundle that. Uh, next up is a game I did review in Talisman Digital Edition. This is a board game from Games Workshop that's been around for a long time. Um, it has all the expansions from the PC version. I said that in my review that it had all the expansions. It doesn't have all the expansions of the board game. It has all the expansions of the PC version that have come out. Basically, it released on PC a couple years ago and has slowly been getting expansions. This includes all of them in one uh, that's been currently released. I don't know if that means they will be adding more to this as DLC later on down the line for Talisman, but as the game sits, it's there's a ton here. I mean, there's over 300 plus cards if you're playing with the expansions, multiple uh, added modes to it, multiple uh, win conditions. You have to be into, of course, a board game like this, a tabletop game like this. Uh, if you're a fan of Talisman, the actual board game and all, I think this is pretty darn well done. I had a lot of fun with it, not knowing 
Uh, like, I'm not familiar with it. I've never actually played a game of Talisman. And $30 is a lot cheaper than it'll cost you to buy the board game and then the miniatures and uh, all the expansions that are included and all that stuff. So you can also play up to six players on the same system or go online and play with people online. A little pricey. I, I You may want to wait for it to go on sale for sure since, you know, at $30 is still a lot. Um, but it does have a platinum if you're willing to uh, do everything that's required for it. Uh, next up is Sub-Level uh, Zero Redux. Uh, this is a game that we've talked about before with the trailers and stuff. Had kind of a uh, Descent feel to it, just more colorful, like Tron meets Descent. Uh, with Because, of course, the ship with the first-person shooter asked elements of the ship. We've seen a bunch of... Uh, We've seen the trailer, and, and there's been a bunch of trophy lists uh, released for this. It looks pretty cool. I watched a couple other reviews on it. It seemed like a halfway decent game. Uh, it may be one I end up checking out down the road if it ever gets a little bit of a price drop. Next up is the platform puzzle game known as Shift Happens. Uh, looks like a pretty fun little game. Uh, you're playing as these as Bismo and Plume, two lovable jelly creatures. I don't know how lovable they really are, but anyway, it's, it's, it's a platform puzzle game. We've seen many of these uh, over over time, and uh, if you're playing, of course, two-player co-op, this could be a lot of fun with a friend, significant other, maybe a kid. I don't know how difficult it is uh, as far as everything is concerned, but still, pretty cool-looking game. Uh, maybe worth checking out at some point uh, in the future. The other big game for this week, of course, is Near Automata. Uh, this is the day one, obviously, version. It comes with some skins, but I, I bet you in a few weeks they'll release like the regular version digitally, and then they won't have this stuff. Um, the, the weird thing about Nier um, is you can buy the trophies with in-game money. Not microtransactions, but in-game money, you can buy the trophies, which is an interesting concept. I don't know if that makes it a very easy platinum. Um, obviously, the jury's, you know, just kind of getting going with the game as far as... I know some people have already platinumed it. I did see on a few trophy uh, things I'm on Facebook that a few people have already platinumed uh, near. Uh, but the fact that that's in there is just an interesting concept. What do you think about that? Do you think being able to buy platinums, trophies with in-game money? In-game. I'm not talking about doing microtransactions because that's... I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to be able to just put like $5 down and I get a platinum. That's no different than the people that are, I know they have people that get trophies for people uh, for like, you know, PlayStation 3 and stuff like that where they, you know, they take your profile and they unlock everything for you automatically and stuff like that for a price point or whatever. I, I don't want something like that where you can just pay money and get the trophies. But in-game money, especially for a couple of them that may be a little bit more uh, pain in the butt um, or something like that, I don't know. It's interesting to think about it, it's, you know, does it demean it? Does it get rid of the value of it? I mean, it may get rid of the value of Nier's trophies, but does it get rid of the value of any trophies? Um, next up is Loot Rascals, another game that I checked out this week and reviewed. Um, I'm kind of surprised it's not getting more buzz. It's a dungeon crawler roguelike game that has a very cool graphic style. It's very colorful. It has kind of a retro sci-fi look to it. Uh, it is very difficult. It has a cool card system. Instead of just using like random equipment, instead you have these cards with the orange ones uh, being upgrades to attack, the blue ones or whatever, uh, defense. But then they all have like little things to them, each card. Like for example, you can see even here, like having this defensive card in the bottom row of cards gets you a plus one to it. You have ones that like this right here, card to the left gets a plus one. So there's all these strategy involved to putting together the cards that work best for you. Uh, along with just trying to survive, because you die, you're starting back over with nothing again. So, very, very cool game. I had a lot of fun with it, uh, and especially considering some of these games are very popular, I'm hoping that maybe down the road more people word of mouth will travel uh, for Loot Rascals, because I think it's a well-made game, um, and uh, I think it's well worth checking out for some people that like those kind of games. So, we'll see. Uh, limited time only for the Core Fighters plus Satomi for Dead or Alive 5 last round. Uh, it's free. I, I guess this is like, what even is this? Thanks to the great reception to Core Fighters. For a limited time, we're offering Hitomi. We downloads Dead or Alive 5 Last Round Core Fighters. Don't miss. So basically, is this like the free-to-play version of Dead or Alive 5 Last Round, I assume? In which case, okay, whatever, I'm good. Uh, next up, though, is another one of the bigger releases this week, which was LEGO Worlds. With the popularity, of course, of things like Minecraft and all those kind of games, it's amazing to think that we didn't have, like, a LEGO game that capitalized on that concept of 
building, you know, your your town, building your houses, uh, you know, all that stuff with Legos, because, I mean, it's Legos. And that's exactly what Lego World is. It, it is basically... There's more to it than just that, it looks like. There's more gameplay, more Lego-based gameplay in here than just a simple build with Legos. Um, but, uh, and it kind of looks cool. Uh, it was out of my price range for this week. I kind of was interested, because I'm not into Minecraft at all, but I liked a game like Dragon Quest Builders a lot. So I don't know if LEGO has enough in it to make me like it like I like Dragon Quest Builders. So I, I at least want to try it out at some point down the road. Uh, if you've messed with it, like I said, let me know. Uh, next up is Gem Smashers, which I wanted to check out because I do like puzzle games. Um, and this one looks like a relatively fun puzzle game. I probably may, as soon as I get a little bit of extra moolah, I, I probably will end up checking it out. Uh, I wanted to see how the plat was involved with the game because it looked like a relatively doable platinum trophy. Uh, I've talked to, I talked about Gem Smashers a long time ago when we watched the trailer for it. Uh, if you're messing with it, if there's somehow someone out there who actually bought it and messing with it, I love that thing. That thing is awesome. That thing is amazing. Um, but uh, if you mess with it, let me know if the trophies are actually worth getting. You know, how hard is it? Uh, next up is the uh, one of the PS Plus games for this month called Disc Jam. Basically, this is like Discs of Tron. Uh, it's very much reminiscent of the arcade game Wind Jammers, which I had never played, but I know everyone, every, basically while playing it, wow, this looks like Wind Jammers, or this plays like Wind Jammers. Um, I, I just one of those things I'm just not very familiar with. Uh, amazingly, I, like, I know a lot about games, obviously. I've been gaming for nearly 30 years. Uh, but at the same time, I just never heard of Wing Jammers, and anyway, so it's very much like that. There's, it's a very uh, fun game if you get into it, get into the nuance of the control scheme, because basically you throw the discus. Discus, I can't speak. Um, but you can curve it, you can bounce it off the walls, you can ricochet, you can skip it. Like you can do all kinds of stuff with it if you move the joystick correctly right before you end up throwing it. You can lob it into the air, you can block it with the shield, do powered up shots. There's a core, the core here is very good, the problem is there's just not a lot else. There's no season mode, or no story, or there's only four playable characters, there's no unlockable courts. Uh, the costumes, uh, they, they, they say costume, but it's just color schemes for the characters, they don't have like, actual different outfits or accessories they could put on, or... They, they just, it, it's like the basis for a great game. Um, very similar to how Rocket League started out basic, but I think Rocket League even had more to offer from the get-go than this is offering from the get-go. Um, just, you know, from my opinion. Also, no platinum, only 100%, which I did get. It's one of the first 100%s I've gotten in a while, because a lot of times if it's 100%, I just don't even bother with it um, for trophies if it doesn't have a plat. Uh, the worst trophy, though, was win 50 games online, which I had, surprisingly, not a whole lot of difficulty with, mostly because, obviously, a lot of people are still getting used to the game. So even though I, I did pretty well, in fact, I only lost three matches, I know I'm not that good. Like, I know I'm not very good. I can't be that good at the game, so... Anyway, there's that. Uh, next up is Dino Dini's Kickoff Revival. This is the second or third time they've tried to bring back Dino Dini's Kickoff. Uh, um, basically, uh, Dino Dini is a soccer game, or football game, uh, from a long time ago that is considered like the pinnacle of video game soccer, video game football. Uh, and they've, it's very simplistic, very basic looking, but like at its core, a very fun game. Like graphics aren't always everything as far as like what makes it a fun game. Um, but unfortunately, like they've tried to revive it a few times and it hasn't gone over very well. I don't know how this one's doing. I tried to check it out. I tried to, you know, I, I emailed the company. They just never got back to me. Um, you can do online play, European football teams, uh, fast paced game, blah, 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 blah. Um, so if you messed with it, uh, let me know what you think of it. It's not a huge price point, only $9.99, no, no plat, uh, involved in the game, uh, but still, uh, it looks kind of cool. Plus it's on Vita and PS4, so I assume it's a cross-buy, uh, same with, uh, I don't know about Gem Smasher, it's probably not a cross-buy, because it's different prices, I don't know if this one's cross-buy or not. Talisman is, by the way, this is something that I miss out because I don't do a lot of Vita stuff, so I miss out on remembering if it's crossed by, but Talisman is, and that's what's cool about Talisman, real quick, just for it, it still, whatever, uh, basically it is crossed by, so you could start a game on PS4, save it, put your save on the Vita, and take it with you, so you can continue playing, and some games of Talisman can last a very, very long time, uh, and then other games can last a very short time, depending on how quickly you're able to get through it. Uh, next up is the PlayStation VR game known as Dark Net. Uh, I don't know really anything about this game. It looks interesting, 
because obviously you're gonna be like inside the computer trying to interact with things. Uh, obviously, it's you know all about puzzle solving, viruses, and stuff like that. If anyone's messed with it, let me know. Uh, it seems interesting, uh, but being VR, it's gonna put me out of it. Uh, next up is Clicker Heroes, a free clicker game. That's, it was one of the most popular clicker games that exist. I did a review for this one as well, mostly because it was free and I didn't have a lot of money this week. So I was like, ooh, a free game. I need to review it just to make sure I have enough content and reviews on the channel this week. Uh, so if you if you messed with it, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, it's just you clicking and clicking and clicking. And uh, there's microtransactions involved if you want to do it, uh, if you want to do that. But uh, it's just a very simplistic, basic clicker game because it's been around forever. Uh, next up is Atelier Fierce, the Alchemist of the Mysterious Journey. This is the newest game in the Atelier series, uh, which I, I missed out on getting. Usually I've been buying these games every year, but unfortunately, I didn't have the money. Plus, I never get around to playing them. I like the older Atelier games. Uh, I've been a fan of the series for a while, but the last, like, five years or so, I just have not had the opportunity of the time. Like, I've bought most of them, but just haven't had the time to sit down and actually get into them. Uh, if you're someone who enjoys the series, uh, let me know about this one, or, like, which of the latest ones is the one to play. Like, if I finally get a moment to breathe, and I can actually, like, in just sit down and play an RPG, uh, what of those games I should check out. And last but not least for new PSN games this this month, or this week, not this month, this week, uh, is Too Dark. It's another game I just put out a review for, so you can check it out on the channel. This is a game that does not pull punches. This is a very dark, brooding game. Uh, it's all about, you're playing as this character named Smith, whose wife is murdered, his kids are kidnapped, uh, and so he goes on a vigilante mission to save kids from a from serial killer kidnappers. Uh, all the kidnappers uh, and serial killers, it's an intertwined storyline. You find out wh who's supplying these kids, who's kidnapping them, uh, why, is there, why are they kidnapping them, and then all the horrible, horrible things that these people are doing to, ch to children. And, of course, it's not really graphic intensive, of course, but it has a very, the art style in it. There's a lot of, like, posters. I wish you had an example of the art style in the screenshots here. Like, the actual, like, pictures on the walls and magazines and stuff like that. So very... Whoever did the artwork for it is a fa did a fantastic job. It's very dark. It's very gothic. It, it's, like, not... It's, like, horror goth... Like, horror chibi, in a way, is a lot of the way a lot of the artists handle because of the kids being involved. But it's brutal. I, I give the game a lot of credit just because of how brutal it is with what the story is. You just you don't see a whole lot of that um, anymore. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the only issue with it here is this, and that is it's $30. The game is not exceptionally long, depending upon how uh, quickly you're able to get through each of the levels. It's level-based, technically. There's like an over thing, and then you go to like, each area, like you're going into a hospital, uh, or you're, you're going into the circus, and, you know, all this stuff is trying to stop these people. Um, depending upon how long it takes you, you know, it's not an exceptionally long game. It's just a really high price point. No platinum either. Which would have just been, you know, a nice little addition. At least have that if you're going to charge $30 for it. So like with Talisman, I really like the game. It's just harder to recommend. Check it out on sale for sure. Even at $23.99, I think that's a bit overpriced. Okay, so that's everything for PSN new this week. Now we're going to jump on over to the PlayStation uh, Network profiles, PSN profiles. And start talking about all the new games that came out. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to start off. I have to, like pick a point to start with, and I'm going to start with uh, Dying Reborn. We talked about VR ping pong before, uh, but I'm going to start with Dying Reborn and then go from there. So if I miss some games that I haven't talked about in the past, I apologize. Dying Reborn has multiple sets of trophies because there's a VR version which doesn't have a platinum, but then the core base game which came out last week. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to talk about it, um, is instantly one of the newest easy platinum games. As you can see, 80%, 80%. Um, completed each section, uh, do these certain things in each section, like open all the lockers on the front, open the bar refrigerator, do this stuff. Watched a man and a woman on the television, successfully combined items for the first time, acquired a memo for the first time. Most of the goals, golds are just beating the game, and there's the memos. So as long as you have a guide to help you get the memos, I'm sure there's probably already one out there. Uh, an extremely easy platinum. Not a lot of people have gotten have picked up the game yet. Uh, it is $19.99. It has multiple trophy lists, so that means the European and North American version has their own Platinum. 
So, if you want to double up on that, if you want to spend the money to get the game multiple times and do that, you have that option to do so. So, Dying Reborn, another game that's instantly on the easy platinum list. Uh, speaking of easy platinums, Grim Legends The Forsaken Bride. Uh, this is a game I did review last week. Um, as you can see, I got the platinum. I, I forgot to sign out. Um, but anyway, you can see here uh, that the uh, is another one of those hidden picture games uh, hit and uh, point and click adventure style games. Only negative with this one is you have to play the game twice. You have to play it once doing all the hidden object pictures and once doing it uh, doing all the domino pictures. Uh, you can kind of cheese the domino pictures, though. Basically, if you're doing a hidden picture puzzle, find everything but one item, then switch it to the domino version, so that you only have, like, one spot you have to cover with dominoes, and then you- it counts for- as long as you finish the domino game as the last thing, it- it gives you the, um, it gives you the successfully completed domino one. So, like, for example, um, the one trophy which could be a little bit difficult is right here, beat a domino game in under a minute. That's how you easily cheese the trophy. You find all the hymn picture stuff except for one thing in a hymn picture, then switch it over to the dominoes and get that one thing within the minute, and boom, uh, trophy there. That's the only hard stuff. Um, though, another very, it took me four or five hours at most to get that platinum. Uh, next up is Stranger of Sword City. Uh, this is, I guess, the North American list uh, for the game. Uh, this is for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, looks like an interesting list. No one has gotten the Platinum yet. Not a whole lot of people have checked out the game, it looks like, either. But I don't know. Maybe it's not quite out yet. Not positive on it. Uh, maybe, unless this came out last week, in which case, it's still not a lot of people have checked it out. Uh, reached the end of the story. No one's beaten it yet. Um, first time seeing a butterfly nest. Uh, I'm trying to look at the ones that no one's gotten. They've obtained a small Muramasa. Travel back in time to relive a faithful battle with your vessels. Uh, retrieved Anna's stolen underwear. Wow, there you go. There, there is the trophy, and then there's also you've retrieved Gerba's stolen red panties. That's that's a hell of a name. So there you go. There, there, there's your winners for trophies in this game. Uh, that is for sure. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Create it your first member. So uh, if this is a game you've messed with yourself, let me know a little bit more about it. Uh, next up is Elliot Quest. This is another retro platformer. Um, very, very retro, as you can see from the graphic style, uh, for everything. It surprisingly does have a platinum, uh, defeated the different bosses, uh, obtained all the crystals, unlocking, um, New Game Plus. Um, looks like it's possibly doable for a, for a platinum. Uh, there is three endings, that's probably the only thing that's a little bit more annoying, unless you, if you don't know, whatever. This game's been out a while on PC, it's finally coming to the PS4, so it's one that I'm, uh, excited for, uh, that's for sure. Next up is Rayon Riddles, The Rise of the Goblin King. Okay, look, this one is uh, an interesting game. We're going to look at the, the, the trailer. You have to beat the game, of course, for the Platinum. Okay, so complete the game, so Platinum. Destroy all the ruins in level 4, complete level 4. Die several times and repeat. Uh, find the sacred sword. Don't fish for the fish. Fish for yourself. I don't know what that is. Complete level 1, complete level 5, complete level 6, 9, 3. All the trophies are out of order for each level. Like, like they just uh, the trophy list is, I guess, in, in alphabetical order of what they start with, maybe? Yeah, I guess so for most of it. Um, watch your step with the trip wires. Uh, don't get killed. I don't know what that one is about. Get killed, get killed, and then get killed again. Triple kill. Um, interesting things. I, I, I'm interested in this one for sure. In a far, far away country. So this is Rayon Riddles. The goblins had to flee from their homes. It's, it's beautiful graphics, of course. By the orcs. Oh god, it's Orc Slayer too. Except not. Well, but still, it could be. Help them escape from there. <laughs> that looked hilarious. Gather your friends. Solve puzzles to overcome okay, so obviously an action 3D puzzle strategies, clever adventure game, and a mighty king. Like the graphics Just are like you know not anything yourself. stellar. They look a little bit like they could be like a toy kind of thing, like claymation kind of going on with it. I don't know. I, I, I've seen far but far please, worse. Try not to break everything. 
trailer's not like doing a whole lot to win people over though. That is uh that is for sure. So this is one I'm gonna keep an eye on for sure when it gets launched to uh PlayStation. So I'm gonna keep that one in mind for sure. Next up is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Of course, uh, the big one for this week. Somebody has gotten the platinum, but you can see a lot of people own the game, of course, uh, as we expect it. But 0.15, that means five, five people have gotten the platinum. Finding all the documents, very few people have done that so far, so that must be a little bit more of a grind. That is just a longer experience. Um, complete all the story missions, 0 0.33, so that's not a lot of people have beaten it yet. Obviously, this will go up as the game's out for a little bit. Unlock each of the skills, all the skills. Uh, not a whole lot of easy trophies, like a, made a close combat kill at night. Uh, discovered one legend, discover all in one legend is discoverable. Complete the first mission of a thing. But very few have like a huge, defeat your first boss. But a lot of trophies are very, very low percentage for people to check it out. Maybe also checking and playing the game online or something. Maybe there isn't a whole lot there. Uh, next up is my weekly rant uh, at Arcade Archives. I forgot to click that. There we go. Uh, there you go. There's the Arcade Archive. You guys know how I feel about these things. They're overpriced. The trophy lists stink for them. Um, but interestingly enough, they are porting these over to the Switch. Nintendo Switch got an up, of course, got its first shop update. Uh, they included Blaster Master Zero, uh, Voez, the rhythm game, and then six Neo Geo Arcade Archives games are now available on the Switch. Same price point, but of course, there's no trophy system on the Switch because uh, Nintendo just refuses to do that. Uh, but yeah, very pathetic trophy list. I really wish they would put more effort into these. They're never going to, clearly. It just pretty much means I'm never going to buy them. Um, next up is Winning Post. 8, 2017. Um, okay, so I am one of the few people out there that actually likes horse racing games. There's not a whole lot of us out there, uh, but I do like horse racing games. One person's gotten the platinum already. But basically, you have to raise horses and get the best horse, you know, horse possible. You have to do, uh, breed them, find the best stats, all that stuff, and make the absolute perfect ones. Uh, won the Stan Stallion Triple Crown, won the Mare's Three Crown, won the U.S. Triple Crown, won the Three European Crown. Um, all this stuff, like, build a female system is, build a female system is my female system. I love English. Um, but, uh, anyway, so they achieve all the secretary challenges for each of these characters. I did want to show you briefly... Uh, the trailer. Look, I know most people don't care about it. I'm also, uh, there's not a lot of trailers to watch this week. So I want to showcase, uh, let's get into it a little bit. There we go. You can see the graphics for it. Uh, and yes, it, it is a, just a horse racing game. We got one of these on PS3, the G1. Oh, I, I got, I, I became a big fan of, of horse racing games back on PS2 with a game called Gallop Racer. Uh, and I, that's what got me into it, and I played it a lot, and Gallery Racer 2003, um, a lot as well, and then unfortunately, it kind of fell off as far as the games actually come to North America. Horse racing has been very popular as a, a game type in Japan for as long as gaming existed. There are so many horse racing games on NES, Super Nintendo, uh, N64 has them, you know, and thus every, you know, every gen has them, so. I'm interested. Of course, it's never going to come here, so unfortunately, because of that, uh, I won't be able to get it because it is obviously very text-heavy, so it'd be very hard for me to be able to actually get the game. Uh, but anyway, so I just want to show you briefly. Winning Post 8 2017 version. Boop. Uh, okay, next up is Darknet, which we just talked about. There we go. My mouse wants to work for me. There we go. Darknet. Uh, no plot, like I said, um, here you go. Use Hydras a hundred times. Not many people have the game. Only 11 people have checked out this game. So very little to judge it on, but, um, up unlock all upgrades, reach the skill rating of 85%, earn $30 million. So probably a lot involved with this one. Uh, next up is Blue Reflection for the PlayStation 4 and the Vita. Uh, this is Japanese, whatever, I guess it may be an auto-translated my trophies, or that of the trophies are in English. Uh, completing all the chapters, completing each of these characters' intermissions, I guess? Guess? Complete episodes for each of these characters? 
So see, with 50 missions, create your first item, enjoyed chatting a great many times, defeated these bosses, uh, looks like a very sim- a very, you know, uh, easy overall RPG trophy list, like not any- like, you know, obviously a lot involved here. Uh, if this is a game that you've checked out yourself, uh, or any point, or know anything more about Blue Reflection, maybe, you know, whatever, let me know, I'm interested. Uh, here you go, here's Disc Jam. I said, the, the only trophy that's of anything is the win 50 pub online public matches. Uh, that's the lowest percentage one, but most of them are very, very easy. People, of course, are going to do boosting sessions for it, but it, it's very easy to do it. The games are very quick, too. So, yeah, you have to do 50 online matches, but if you're winning them, it's not very uh, difficult. Like, it, like it just boom, boom, boom. Like, you're right into another match uh, as long as you're playing it. As long as people are on it still, it's very easy to get a match. Uh, next up is Games of Glory. No Platinum here, but you have to win 500 games as different characters. I have a striking suspicion that this will be one of those trophy lists that not a lot of people go out and get everything. So let's look briefly uh, at the trailers for uh, the trailer for Games of Glory for the PS4. This is obviously a competitive kind of Superstar game. game mode. In just a few minutes, this is from uh, the, the German uh, PlayStation uh, and the defenders of <laughs> YouTube. Tour. But before we start, let's review how the game is played. Also, I don't know why th this trailer was until lagging for me round. earlier. Then I don't know why it was lagging. Not a lot of people have checked it out, but here you go. So you can see it. It's kind of a free for all, three on three shooter mix like it looks like it could potentially be a little bit of fun of course, but with like the 500 easy, wins easy, like it's not worth going done. after for trophies oh, especially with no plat involved but uh, it looks okay Each it, it, is nothing about this points. is five points and you've won the game being it looks amazing by any means i'm done, pretty much done with that <laughs> um but of course if you've messed with it you know let me know uh next up is chroma squad which does have a platinum. Chroma Squad is an awesome little game uh, that it was a Kickstarter and got. And I, I played through it on Steam. Um, basically, you're playing as a group of actors who work on um, a Power Rangers esque show, uh, and you have to make your team. You get to name them, pick what they look like, uh, and then you have to get like new equipment for them. But you're building the equipment out of stuff that would be used for the show, like out of t you know plastic tubes and cardboard boxes and stuff like that in order to get this and in the game's gameplay is a tactic rpg uh that you know there's a lot of humor involved uh it's a relatively lengthy game too uh it's basically broken up into chapters or in this game it's seasons you do have to beat the game on the hardest difficulty though which will be a little bit of of a pain uh all the endings involved um, so there's stuff here, like, it's, uh, if you get into the game, it's doable, um, but really, really fun. I don't know what the price point's gonna be on the PS4, uh, it's coming out in June, but well worth, uh, checking out, that is for sure. Uh, next up is Click Your Heroes, real quick, there you go. I, I got one trophy in it so far, because the get, I'm surprised some people have all these, I actually right near the 50 hero upgrade, that's when I stopped, but... Stuff like this. Reach level 3,600. Shoo! That's a lot. Uh, next up is the Talisman Digital Edition. Um, you can see everything involved here. You Every game you complete, you level up. But man, leveling up took forever. I played a bunch of games. And uh, it, it just... It, it, phew, it took forever to get anything going. Uh, but you have to do as certain things as each character type, or certain character types, not each, certain character types, basically the default characters, uh, which include, like, Troll, Warrior, Amazon, Wizard, Assassin, Dwarf, all these guys. Um, I, uh, I played as Pirate, uh, oh, all the, uh, real quick, though, my favorite trophy, of course, in this is right here. Win a battle as a Toad, Battle Toad. Th that alone is not worth the price of admission, but still awesome. Uh, but I played as a pirate, and I played as a bounty hunter, and I played as orc something, like orc leader or something like that, uh, which are not ones that have trophies, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, next up is Unearthing Mars. This is the one, just beat the chapters, complete all the chapters, and then do these other two things. Very, very easy, 100%. It is the VR game. It has a lot of lists, so if you have VR, you can buy this game multiple times and have an easy 100%. If that was a Platinum involved for that game, 
Uh, that'd be worth it for VR trophy hunters, I guess. Uh, we also got Royal Defense and Royal Defense Invisible Threat. Uh, these are, I assume, tower defense games, or maybe RTS games, or like that, because it's build 1,000 towers, but also build 50 mines uh, involved. They're very simple trophy lists. Uh, let me know uh, if you mess with them. They're coming out soon. I guess probably next week uh, they're going to be coming out. Uh, next up is LEGO Worlds, which we talked about earlier. Uh, complete each of the, the pirate land, the prehistoric land, the candy land. Candy land. Uh, dive, continue to leave for three minutes. Uh, play bagpipes to a brown bull, play a trumpet to an elephant, have five squirrels following you around at the same time. I want that trophy. Pied Piper up squirrel them. I want that trophy. I want to play this game now just to have that trophy on my list. Uh, find bricks, of course. Why wouldn't there be bricks? Lots of bricks. Find the legendary bricks. Connect to billions to- Oh, hold on. Even better. Badger. Ride a badger. So, one day I will get this game, and even if I don't platinum it, I will get badger and I will get Pied Piper of Squirrel Them. Th those trophies alone are well worth it. So, some point down the road, I'll get that. Uh, next up is Chaos Child. Uh, this is, I assume... Loop. I've heard of Chaos Child. This is another um, visual novel, correct? I think, yes. Heard all the sounds, see all the CG. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I thought that it was. It's been out for a while in Japan, and didn't we get this on the Vita here? I, I'm com probably completely confused. I know I, I've heard of this. I don't know what this trophy list is. I don't know if it's another version of it. It came out a while ago, so I don't know why this one, unless it's um, another version of something. I'm not sure. Uh, next up is Wand of Fortune R2. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And it's actually doing my translation again. There we go. So this is... I'm not exactly positive. The, the trophies are a little bit hard to read. Living joy to do it for that. That memory. That is a memory with Solo. So each character has memories, I guess. You have to get their memories. Um, give up will not let anyone take away the future of the two. I will chase him today, which will become stronger to defend. Beautiful trophies. Hidden behind their story time, deep inside their heart. <laughs> when you finish reading all, the story is complete. So I guess getting all the story elements of the game. Uh, Wand series, the longest program. Please check with your eyes what happens in the past world. I, I, I love these trophies. I, I don't have a clue what any of them are. Uh, next up is another PS4 title. Go ahead and do a translate here. Boom. Uh, obviously, a mech-related game. Figureheads. Leader... The leader machine in heavy assault aircraft participating in a match to play until the last. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. Unfortunately, I don't know a whole lot about this uh, particular game. Complete cumulative five games to take continuous to defeat, <laughs> defeat it ribbon one or more times. So obviously you have to play as the different kind of characters. I can see from like the things. So you have to play as each of the characters. Uh, and then different things you have to equip. Uh, and then cumulative total of wins, I guess, is five. So, 100% uh, only, though, no platinum uh, in that. Uh, next up, though, is the Kingdom Hearts trophy list. I'm not going to go over each of these. Uh, but basically, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 is being bundled together, re-released on the PS4 at the end of the month. Uh, and that, thus, has four platinums in it. For Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts 2, Rechain of Memories, and regular old original Kingdom Hearts... So, yes, uh, each of these have their Platinums. They are the same trophy list as they were back on the PS3. I heard, though, for Chain of Memories, uh, the difficulty ones stack finally. Because supposedly Chain of Memories, the trophies before for difficulty, did not stack. Um, so you had to replay the game many, many times. That's not the case now. Apparently they do stack, so that's a thing. Uh, we also got the trophy list, the Japanese trophy list for Persona Five, which is already out in, in Japan, so I don't know why. Maybe this is the Hong Kong list. But look, I don't know. And this is the list. We've already had the uh, tro the game's been out in September. It's coming out in here in April. I, I, I figured we would get the North American list by now. Uh, but this may be like the uh, Asian uh, region. That's probably what this one is. So you can kind of see everything that's going to be involved with it, which obviously is going to be a lot if you want to go ahead and get... Um, 
the Platinum for Persona 5, but I know a lot of people are very, very excited for the game, uh, and I'm sure it'll be worth uh, worth the wait. Uh, next up is Too Dark. Uh, so here's the game I talked about earlier. No, uh, no Platinum. Some of the trophies, like, uh, aren't too bad. Also, I never sunk sink my trophies, because I do have Animal Lover. Uh, I do that. I did, there you have to find all these candies. Basically, you can use candies to lure the kids, uh, but also, um, they're collectible in the game. Uh, you have to uh, beat bosses in a certain way, but there are multiple ways to defeat each boss in the game, so there's only a couple of them that can be beaten in certain ways. Uh, finish the level without firing a single shot. That that would take a while, uh, while for sure. Uh, and then find all the lists of the backers for the game, because it was a Kickstarter game, and you can find lists of all like the backers individually in the game. Like You find a set of them and stuff like that, so... Uh, not the worst trophy list by any means, as long as you're able to do certain things. Plus, you can replay any level you want in the challenge mode. After you be a level, you unlock it, the challenge version of it, uh, which is basically just allows you to replay it without the story mode, because you can't go back, of course, and redo levels during the course of the main game. Next up is Blue Rider, which we are going to look a little bit at the trailer. This game is getting a physical release exclusive to PlayAsia, I think, which is really weird. Uh, that that's how they're doing this, but it look, look at this trophy list. It has a platinum, which is shocking enough, but beat each stage, all the bosses, three stages complete without a scratch, that's the difficult one for sure. Complete all stages without being killed, there's another difficult one. Destroy all your enemies in a single game and find all the relics in every stage. These, that you know, they're going to be a pain, but not as bad. These two are your really tough ones, but very simple trophy list. Depending upon how hard this game is, could be a doable platinum. Uh, but this is Blue Rider. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, because I just want to try to... There we go. There, you can see the kind of game that it is. Uh, you know, you control the ship. Uh, it's one of those, like, 3D shmups, in a way. Like, shooter, 3D shooter. It's not really a shmup, because it's not bullets everywhere, but... You kind of get the gist of it. There's other games like this, uh, that are out there, ones we've seen in the past. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Uh, but looks like a kind of cool game. Um, one that I'm interested in. Uh, I'm not going to be getting the physical from PlayAsia, though. I'm not really a big fan of PlayAsia with shipping and stuff, so it's just like, I don't know why that that's where they're doing. They're doing a lot more exclusive physical copies to different stores uh, and different things, making it more of a pain to get a hold of certain games. I mean, I'm thrilled to see more games get physical copies. I just wish they were more readily available. That's why I'm a big fan of, like, Sudesco and um, even THQ Nordic that's out now, like, doing a lot of these smaller games. Uh, but giving them physical releases and making them available everywhere. Um, so, anyway, Blue Rider, it looks like it's, it could potentially be fun. I, I will probably end up checking it out, and depending upon how hard and difficult the game really truly is, if there's not multiple difficulties or anything, uh, if the Platinum is relatively easy, because it's very simple. It's a very simple Platinum. And last but certainly not least is Mass Effect Andromeda, coming out on the uh, 21st. Uh, so here is the trophy list for this, beating, uh, killing 100 enemies with melee, uh, using constructs to kill 100 enemies, shatter a frozen enemy with a jump melee attack, hit an enemy with a thrown enemy in single player, because obviously there's multiplayer here, which, uh, uh, complete the romances with three different characters across all playthroughs. So you have to get all the romance options, or at least three of them, maybe there's more than that. Uh, activate different things, reboot, so I assume that's story related? Ally with the Outlaw Faction, um, meet Angara on Aya, I'm not sure, that's probably, you know, a character or whatever it may be, uh, certain side missions, like, I assume, help Vetra's sister, uh, is part of a side mission, complete 20 remnant puzzles in a playthrough, scan 100 different objects, craft armor or a gun for, with three augments, increase discovered planet to 100% visibility, complete, increase all discovered planets to 100% visibility, or viability, sorry, not visibility, viability. Uh, so that probably is going to take quite a while. And then a bunch of multiplayer! Create six strike teams! Uh, can move to level 25 in single player mode, or level 15 in multiplayer, at least you have an option there. But right here, couple unlock rank 6 for each single player profile type, or obtain a level 6 multiplayer bonus stat. So at least most of these are single player all multi, except for this one. Co create six strike teams, or earn... 25. Oh, maybe six strike teams is single player. So, okay, never mind. Like, I was about to freak out that there was a lot of multiplayer stuff, but it looks like most... <laughs> it's basically you can either play the multiplayer and only reach level 20, or you get to reach level 40 in single player, uh, and you get it. So, like, you know, not quite balanced, but at least you have the option to do it in single player. So, at least 
uh, that is included here. Complete the multiplayer mode tutorial. So there is at least that. So there is some... One multiplayer trophy for sure, but it's the tutorial that won't be all that bad. So anyway, guys, uh, there you go. That is this week in the PlayStation trophies. Uh, I got a couple Platinums myself this week, including Ocean Horn. Uh, I got that Grim Legends, uh, the Forsaken Bride. Uh, I'm working towards Ghost Blades uh, Platinum. Uh, Ghost Blade is a, a, a shmup. Uh, it's $9.99 on the system. I did do a full review for that one. Uh, if you want to check it out on the channel, search it on the channel and find it. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I'm sorry for last week not doing one. Hopefully, uh, this one was okay. We can get back into the swing of things and do things like regular. But anyway, guys, thank you so much once again, and I'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed.